Hey everyone, so I'm back again with another video, and this time around I'm back on my quest for Digimon, uh, and I have a couple of toys to show you guys, and I'm really excited about these because for once I found uh, Digimon toys in a thrift store, uh, and I found it in a thrift store that's actually given me a lot of stuff lately, which is pretty great. Uh, it's the Salvation Army that I usually go to. And I recently picked up a couple of G.I. Joe toys, um, a couple of Godzilla toys, and now I found some Digimon toys, and I'm really happy to have gotten these. Uh, altogether, I paid $9 for these, and they're not in the best condition, but some of them are in pretty good condition. Uh, so I'm going to start out with the smaller figures that I got, and for uh, the end, I'm going to show you guys the two larger figures that I got. So, uh... Pretty much, yeah, $9 for all of this. Uh, the smaller figures weren't as detailed or as nice, uh, but I just, I grabbed it all. Um, I believe this one here is called, sorry, is Seraphimon. Uh, if I am wrong, please correct me, but that's what I believe it is. The uh, mega form of Angemon or Matt, or, yeah, something like that. I, th I think that's what that is. Next up is um, a purple Diaboromon. I'm honestly not sure if these are even official. I know some of the official ones were still um, strangely colored, but uh, even if they're not, like, I mean, they're Digimon toys, and I'm really happy to have these. Uh, but yeah, that's a Diaboromon from the uh, Digimon movie. Uh, next up is Omnimon with... Um, well, he's kind of poorly painted, uh, or not painted at all. Uh, this here is the head of, uh, where, not where, Garumon. Um, well, the mega form of Gabumon should be bluish. And the, uh, sorry about the glare. Uh, the other side here is the head of, uh, War Greymon, and that one should be orange, kind of. But it's all just kind of off-white. Um, but yeah, like, I, I just, I grabbed it all. This next one here, uh, is kind of disappointing. Uh, this one here is, again, the mega form of, uh, Gabumon. But, as you can see, uh, it's missing, uh, both its, uh, front legs. Uh, they were in with it, but I haven't been able to reattach them. And it's also missing, like, the wing section on the back there. Uh, and I really couldn't find that at all, and that kind of sucks. Uh, but it did have uh, every other part to it, so, I mean, that's something at least. Now, a stranger one. Uh, here is one of the, um, I forgot what they called them, but there were the four mega-level Digimon from the uh, second half of the first series, um, after they beat uh, Myotismon, not Myotismon, uh, Devimon, not Devimon, yeah, Devimon. Uh, after they beat Devimon, they go back to the real world, and then uh, they go back to the digital world a little bit uh, later with Kari, and they're defeating the four uh, Mega uh, Digimon. This one here, I believe it was something like Machine Dramon or something like that, but it had all its pieces, and everything was completely split apart for this thing, and I managed to put it all together. But there was also an extra head, and I didn't see anywhere else, uh, at, like, any other parts, and there's nowhere else on this that it would possibly go on, and from memory, uh, I'm pretty certain this guy only had one head, so it's kind of strange that there was a second one in there, but who knows. Next up are a couple more of the Mega Levels. Uh, this one here is Piedmon, and he's actually pretty nice. Um, not too detailed and the paint kind of sucks but it's still pretty nice I just think that he's missing something on his back there because there is um, a hole right there uh, just two more of these little minifigures uh, this one here is Puppetmon and I'm happy with this one uh, because he does have his uh, weapon accessory there it is a separate piece of plastic and I'm happy that I could find that but his coloring just, it, it doesn't seem right uh, compared to what I remember. I didn't remember him being this uh, sort of dark gray color, and I really didn't remember 
uh, this much white. I'm, I'm almost certain his gloves were a different color and that his pants were a different color, but I could be wrong. And then the last one, and definitely the nicest one of these little mini figures, and this one here is actually the most detailed and it has um, the best paint job on it as well. Uh, just the pieces need to be sort of readjusted, but uh, otherwise it's fine. Uh, this one here is uh, War Greymon. Yeah, War Greymon. Uh, and he's actually pretty nice, very detailed. He's just a little uh, mini figure, um, probably a one and a half inch figure, uh, not too big. But then again, all these are kind of small figures. Now to move on to the larger figures, uh, one of these I was actually really happy to find it because it's uh, I'm almost certain it was the exact same one that I had uh, as a kid, and it's actually one of my favorite. Uh, Digimon as well, but I'm going to start out with this one here. Um, if you might be able to tell, I have a Black War Greymon over there next to Deoxys, but it's kind of hard to point it out. Um, that one there is the Digivolving uh, Black War Greymon, and this one here is just a static figure of Black War Greymon, and as you can notice right off the bat, uh, his one sort of uh, shoulder spike thing was missing, and um, his giant clawed arm thing actually comes off separately and uh, here he has just a fist uh, because if you remember from the series uh, basically um, they can switch between the uh, larger hands and the regular hands and yeah both those parts on the other side are missing and that kinda sucks but I couldn't really complain for the price that I was getting these at and yeah, Black War Greymon definitely in uh, season two was a pretty sad character. Uh, and then the last one, the one I'm the happiest to get, uh, partially because he's um, basically the main poke. Wow, main Pokemon. I'm I'm just terrible. Uh, the main Digimon of uh, the third season, Digimon Tamers. Uh, which is my absolute favorite uh, season. Uh, this is the champion level uh, form of him. It's uh, Growlmon. And, um, yeah, like, I mean, he's pretty nice. Everything is there. He's in pretty good condition. Uh, the paint job is kind of uh, chipped away at certain points. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell on camera. Uh, but... Absolutely everything is here. He's in good working condition. Uh, even his mouth uh, moves like that. And um, I was just, I was really happy to find this. Uh, for those of you that haven't noticed, I have a tattoo right there on my forearm. And it's actually um, a digital hazard symbol that's on uh, Gilmon's body throughout his uh, Digivolutions. Um, on Growlmon, it's actually on his shoulder there, but it's really hard to tell because it's just the outline of it on his shoulder. Uh, I'm not certain if it was just outlined like that or if the paint has uh, come off of it, um, but either way, it's there, and it's um, on the character throughout all of his Digivolutions uh, all the way up to Mega Level. Uh, and uh, that's... All I found, I'm really happy to have these to add them to my collection. Uh, the little minifigures, I could have done without them, really. Uh, they're not all that nice, uh, but there are a couple of nice ones there. I'm definitely happy to have them, uh, but I would have been happy even with just anything Digimon related. I'm still looking for more Digivices, but those are proving very hard to find. Um, I have found two here in a store um, that's here in the city of Toronto but they are extremely overpriced and not working properly so I can't bring myself to spend any money on that uh, even if I had the money that is to afford them I couldn't really bring myself to spend that kind of money uh, anyways that's what I got that's what I'm adding to my Digimon collection I'm really happy to add that to my collection 
Uh, and as always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, also, uh, check out my Facebook, Twitter, and website. They're all linked in the description below. And um, that's it. And uh, yep, see ya.